Hello everyone, I'm Short and welcome to my second video. In this video, I'll be sharing my Tangled theory on how some of the characters from the series became ghosts, and yet not my forgotten. So, I first wondered about this after finishing the series. Why didn't Mother Gothel come back as a ghost? Ghosts are canon in the show, so why wouldn't she have done it? She wasn't expecting to die, and she would have definitely preferred to live. But she would have chosen it to be a ghost above dying, so why didn't she? My theory is that, for ghosts to be formed, they have to pour their life into, or use so much and value so highly, an object or deed, a bit like a hawk works, without, just without the killing and potentially cannibalism part. The sun drop and moonstone, however, are so powerful that if you were to try and use it to turn yourself into a ghost, you would literally disintegrate. Mother Goth valued only the sun drop, aside from herself, and she can't make a hawk works of herself, so highly that it would be possible for the fool to turn into a ghost after death. Besides, she thought she would never die because of the sun drop. For someone to finally rest in peace, the thing that they tie their soul to needs to be destroyed or fulfilled, depending on whether it is an object or deed. You also can tie your soul to something willingly or accidentally. In my head canon, ghosts can possess up to five people, depending on the, the, their physical power and abilities. At least according to my fanfiction that I'm writing, the only exception to that is Aunt Thierry, who can possess up to seven people. They can possess as many objects as they like. When their objects aren't destroyed, they can regenerate indefinitely. Ruthless Ruth tied her soul to music. She thought she tied her soul to her club, but really it was her music. Hence the line, I can end this curse now if I can end this song. And the line, now my dream can never be fulfilled, because the club being destroyed made her think she'd leave the earth soon. Ruthless Ruth probably tied her soul to her music accidentally. The old kings of the Dark Kingdom tied their souls, either willingly or accidentally, to their statues, because they couldn't do it to the Moonstone. When their so statues were destroyed, they disappeared. King Edmund would have tied his souls accidentally to his statue, had it not been destroyed. So that is my theory on how ghosts and Tangled are formed. Do you agree with my theory, or do you have any other ideas? Write them in the comments. Bye for now!